Welcome to She Coaches Coaches. I'm your host, Candy Motzek, and I'm going to help you find the clarity, confidence, and courage to become the coach that you are meant to be. If you're a new coach, or if you've always wanted to be a life coach, then this is the place for you. We're going to talk all about mindset and strategies and how to, because step by step only works when you have the clarity, courage, and confidence to take action. Let's get started. Hi there. I am so glad you're here. Welcome to this episode of She Coaches Coaches. Now, before we jump into today's episode, I want to tell you about a new thing I've got on the go. It's called the Coaches Referral Directory. And it's a select group of coach clients that I've worked with over the past year. If you've been following me on this podcast, you'll know that my word or kind of my phrase of the year is go giver. And choosing this word has had a major impact on my business and the lives of my clients. My mission is to help my clients in any way that I can. Sure, they hire me to work with them, mentor them, and coach them to have even greater success. And they get a ton of value in our coaching sessions. And that being said, I knew there was even more that I could do. So early in the year, I started to look for ways to embody this go-giver philosophy. And for me, that means that I get curious and I ask myself questions. I coach myself and I see what ideas come up. Of course, not every idea is amazing, but you'd be surprised how many great ideas I do come up with. I kindle that little fire of inspiration in my mind and body with my thoughts and my feelings. Then during my morning routine, I often get the most incredible ideas. And this coach's referral directory is one of them. So how does it work? Well, I'm glad you asked. I invited some of my clients from the past year to be part of it. I set the criteria. I needed a photo, a bio, a link to their website, and social media information. Then I pulled together a separate page on my website to feature these coaches. My goal is to drive traffic to this site and to support them in attracting more of their best clients. I get a ton of organic traffic on my website, but I'm a life and business coach for coaches, right? You guys know that. Well, that means that I can't help everybody who shows up on my website or if they show up on my space looking for help. But I have clients who can. I've got clients who are executive and leadership coaches, wellness coaches, parenting coaches, relationship coaches, you name it, I've got them. So for me, this is a three-way win. And when I say that, what I mean is win, win, win. I help my clients. I give them another opportunity to be discovered. The coaches themselves will share it with their audience. And even further, they can network independently and refer each other. So it helps me, it helps my clients, and it helps their potential clients too. This is exactly the kind of impact that I wanted to create as a go-giver. If you want to see what it looks like, or if you're looking for a coach, then you should check it out. Also, if you want to be featured, the only way you can get on this page is if you are one of my private clients. It's only one of a number of initiatives that I've created for this group of private clients over and above the programming, the training, and the coaching that I provide. If this interests you, we should talk. Let's see if it's a good time for us to work together. I put the link in the show notes so you can schedule a call with me. So now let's dive into today's episode. We're going to talk about this one short sentence. Why bother? Yeah, those two words. They're like... They happen so fast, we don't even notice them sometimes. Why bother? They don't seem like a big deal. They're just two little words strung together. But they are everything. And here's why. How often do you have a to-do list ready for the day? 
you know what you should do. You know what you want to do. You know what's your goal. And then when it comes to doing that thing, whatever that thing is, maybe it's reaching out to potential clients. Maybe it's writing a newsletter. Maybe it's going to an online networking event. It could be any of those things and many more. But then we think, why bother? We hesitate. And so often we just stop. And then we don't do that thing we were going to do. Now, when I hear this in my own mind, I know it's just my brain trying to conserve energy and keep me safe. My brain thinks some weird things, and I bet yours does too. My brain thinks that online networking group events are very dangerous. Yeah, I'm smiling. I'm giggling, right? As, you, as I hear this, um, you know, as I'm reading these words and as I say this to you, but my brain still wants to try and make me believe it. So why bother happens? Just those two little words, they can derail your entire plan. Now, when you decided to put that thing on your to-do list, you had a really good reason and you knew it was worth doing. Maybe your brain is nervous. And if you don't know me well yet, know this. I always refer to my brain as a separate entity. It's kind of strange, but it works. Let me tell you why. It helps me choose better thoughts, feelings, and actions instead of living my life on autopilot. If you don't do this too, I would highly suggest you take the same approach. Our brain it's like an amazing computer. And we've got to remember to reassure it, maintain it, and program it for what we want. So maybe your brain thinks that you're never going to reach that goal, and it wants to save you from the disappointment. Maybe your brain knows you can and will reach that goal, but it's scared of the success and what that success might bring. It could be any of these things or all of them. It could be a way to save energy. It could be a way to avoid danger, a way to avoid feeling disappointed or potential embarrassment, a way to avoid success. That last one, a way to avoid success, often triggers me when I realize the thought, why bother, might be a way that my brain wants me to avoid success because it's nervous about what that might bring. So now, when I hear those two little words pop through my mind, I remind myself why I want this. Why do I want the goal? Why do I want my goal of a highly profitable, impactful coaching and training business? How will creating this, this business, impact the lives of those around me? I remember, it will make the lives of my family easier and give us way more opportunity. It will allow my clients to move closer to their dreams. It will further the impact of coaching and help people have even more access to fulfillment and purpose. I remind myself, I've changed so much over the past few years. I've gone from a senior and deeply unhappy corporate leader to fulfilled creative business owner. I managed those changes, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to handle the changes that come from even more success too. That sentence, why bother, is completely ineffective when I remember why I'm doing this. And this gives me the inspiration to take that next step or leap I hope it does the same for you. I hope this episode reminds you of how much the world needs you and your gifts. So when you find yourself pulling back or hesitating and saying, ah, oh, why bother? I want you to remember that nothing is more important than what you're creating, the clients that you'll help and the growth that you can experience. Hey, I so appreciate that you're here as part of my community. And I hope that you're applying the stuff that you're learning on these episodes too. And I wanna hear back from you. Click through to the episode notes, leave me a comment and tell me the kinds of things that you want to learn more about. 
I'm always looking about how I can help you best. And that means creating episodes that speak to exactly where you're at. Of course, you could do all this on your own using the information that I share with you in these episodes. Many of you are really great do-it-yourselfers, and I'm happy to support you too. So keep listening and remember to subscribe. And if you want more help, maybe you want to work more closely with me. I'm here. My clients are go-getters, and many of them wanted to become a coach for weeks, months, or even years before they got started. Now they're eager to dive in, and they know that their time is now. They want the fastest and the funnest, if that's a word, route to becoming a successful coach. And they're eager to get their first 10 paying clients. If this sounds like you, I would be honored to be your mentor and guide. Click on the link in the episode notes, and let's see if it's time for us to work together. Now, before I wrap up, I want to invite you to my website, stepintosuccessnow.com. Don't forget that now, stepintosuccessnow.com. I got so much good stuff there for you. There's a link to sign up for my free resource library, the Coaches Online Business Academy. And of course, it's an easy way for you to learn more about becoming a fully booked coach. There are literally hundreds of blog posts videos, and step-by-step guides to get you started. And this is the spot where you can check out that coach referral network that I spoke about earlier in this episode. When you lean into my website and that free resource library, you don't have to go randomly searching all over the internet for the next piece of puzzle anymore. That being said, I know there are loads of you who want to make faster progress you're eager to get your first paying clients, and you want my help getting there. If that's you, set up a time for us to talk. When you click the link to book a call, I ask you a few questions. Take the time to answer them thoroughly so you can see where you're at. I can read them and get a good idea about where you're at. And that helps us to have a better strategy session. It's the way that I can show up best to help you in that time together. And we're going to see if it's time for us to be working together. All right. That is it for today, guys. I am so appreciative that you spent this time with me. I'll be back to talk with you next week. Thanks again for listening today. Please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, I would love to hear from you. Did something that I say resonate? What else would you like to learn about? Click the link in the player and leave a comment on the post. This is going to give me great ideas for future episodes so I can help you best. Join me again next week for more coaching, support, and teaching to help you become the confident coach you are meant to be.